Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Uh, right, first of all, before I start, it's going to be a very, very short video by my standards, this. Also, if you hear a whooshing noise, I'm hoping the mic will cancel it as much as I can, but I've got the air conditioning unit going in the back because it's absolute scorcher today. Yesterday was the hottest day of the year. Today is Tuesday the 25th of June 2024. And I've plugged the AC unit in because it was getting pretty hot in here. So apologies for any background noise you may hear. Also, if I have to keep editing it to edit sneezes out, for some reason I've got hay fever today. It must be unbelievably high pollen count because I haven't had hay fever for years. Right, now yesterday I uploaded a test on this and another one to test your... Uh, your fluid concentration in your car, your antifreeze coolant fluid. And at the very beginning of there, I mentioned what this is about, because I hadn't planned on doing a video about this new flosser from Lidl's. So I just tagged it on the front of them, but later I thought it'd be better if I actually did a separate supplement video to the other one I did. So what the story is, was I, I got a flosser from Lidl's in January of this year, so six months ago. Check up here for a full review on that, and I go into the full unboxing, how you use it, the different modes, you can see the water coming out, the bat and everything. Like I said, cl click the card above and the link at the end of this for a full review. This video today is not a full review. It's one on the new floss that they've got and the differences, including price. Now, the reason I've had to buy this is after three months, that first one failed. The lights on the front started going haywire. It wouldn't respond right. They, they flashed on their own. Then it had a mind of its own. Sometimes it would come on, sometimes it didn't. And then in the end, it just totally packed up. And that was after about three months. Yeah, January, for about April-ish that happened. So what I did was I'd kept the receipt. I always keep the receipts in a drawer now but always keep the receipts and i've put it in a bag in the boot of my car along with the receipt waiting for them to come back in stock at Lidl's. my idea being that i'd just then swap it for a new one there are a three-year warranty everything you get from uh, Lidl's is three-year warranty it's very very rare i've had a failure and they're really good with swapping or giving you a refund so i kept it in the boot of the car and i go to Lidl's every week every thursday and I've been looking out for them coming in stock. But last week, I saw in the leaflet for this Sunday just gone, that they were going to be back in stock, but at a much reduced price, $12.99. Now, I paid $19.99. So 20 quid or, or 13 quid, a seven quid difference for the, for the new ones. So I thought, Raoul, I'm not just going to swap it. I'll get a refund. So I got a refund at the checkout. Again, dead, dead easy. You feel a bit awkward because you, you're taking up time. There's people behind you with the shopping that they want to buy. They don't have a separate returns desk. If you're listening to this little, it'd be great if you could have just one of your employees just doing returns and not holding people up in the queue. But they did it. They put it back on the card. I bought it from no problems whatsoever. I got me 20 quid back. So on the Sunday, I went to my local Littles. They didn't have any in. I went to another one equally nearby. They had 20 of them in. So again, Littles, sort your deliveries out. Sometimes one branch doesn't get any and another branch gets loads. So I bought one from there and I'm just going to leave it at that. But they are there is a few differences. This one is definitely improved over the other one. I'll show you the two instructions. I've obviously got a refund on the other one now, so I can't show you in the flesh, so to speak. But I did keep the instruction book, and that's the old one. There, it's an NMD 3.7B8, and this is the new one, an NMD 3.7D8. The base charger thing is the same, but the units themselves are slightly different. Now, I'll show you the main difference. Well, I'll show you first. Basically, 
I think it looks a lot nicer now in these colours. It's like a nice teal colour. And you can see you've got jet, normal and soft there. And your battery charge indicator at light at the bottom. When it needs recharging, that goes red. When it's fully charged, it goes green. Now, again, I'm not going to go into what all these modes mean. Look at me other video for that. They're exactly the same. But I just thought, oh, it's maybe just cosmetic changes. I'll show you alongside here now a still of the other one. And as you can see, it's, like I say, I think it's a lot nicer, this one, a lot nicer colours than the blue and that of the other. And the other one round here and that it just seems a bit iggledy piggledy in, in in the design the water tank on this it's better you've got a, a knurled sort of grip there an easy grip the nozzle itself goes on exactly the same you just push that button in and pull it out and again you get two of these with different colored rings one for each person but the tips of these are different so I'll show you that first, and then I'll show you the main differences in the instruction book, which are very good improvements and worth having. So let's have a look at the tip of this compared to the old one. I've got my Brio rigged up here, and uh, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this one here is the old one, and this one here is the new one. So for a start, you can see the it's a slightly different diameter tube, but the old one has got quite a pronounced thing on the end of it there. That's the hole the water comes out of there. But it's got that little sort of like ridge around it, semicircle with a cutout in around it, holding it quite a way off, touching your gum. The new one, again, the hole seems about the same diameter, but it's got a much simpler sort of disc around it. You can see probably from that angle better this on the right is the old one and that on the left is the new one. So that is one difference. The bits the other end that go in the uh, the actual appliance itself are exactly the same. There's no difference so they're both interchangeable. So that's the nozzles close up and like I say you get one on this one it's got same colour band as this colour on the other it was blue and then you, you the other ones they give you have got like a grey grey band around it just see it there so other than that slightly different end they are basically the same but like I said the main differences I'm going to hold up and then do a freeze frame of the two instruction books together so as you can see this is the new one here on the left if you look at it and if you look there put an arrow it says 1200 milliamps the battery is 1200 milliamps this one only 800 milliamps so the new one has got you know a, a third more power than the old one so it'll last longer and one of the main things, if you look again here at the old one, it's IPX4. Again, I'll put an arrow showing where I mean. IPX4. That's basically how waterproof it is. And it just says IPX4 is protected against water splashes. And the other one is IPX7, which is protection against temporary immersion. Sorry, temporary submersion. So I'll just put on a screen here the IPX chart, what they all mean. So it goes from IPX0, which is no protection from moisture whatsoever, down to 1, 2, 3. And if you remember, the old one was IPX4. So it protected against splashing water from any angle. Well, this one, it's IPX7, which is a fair old jump. And that, you can immerse it in water for 30 minutes at a depth up to 1 metre. So, as you can see, a lot more waterproof. I reckon that's what went wrong with the old one. Water got in it. I didn't, I wasn't careless with it. When I put it under the tap to fill it, I made sure it was only going in here. I didn't soak the entire thing with it. That's another thing. This seems to fit a bit nicer. The other one stuck up a bit. 
and as before you can slide that off completely your water tank and you've got your little sort of filter on the end and that just slides back up but uh, like i say you just fill it fill it from there they recommend you drain it after every use to stop bacteria but yeah i reckon some sort of water had got in it but I, like i said try and thoroughly drain it out and it didn't cure it but something living in a bathroom being able to fill from the tap that's only ipx4 which is against a few splashes is a bit suspect really so they've increased the waterproofness of it and put a 1200 milliamp battery in instead of an 800 milliamp battery so you've got a third as much again power other than that they just seem cosmetic does the same thing when you turn it on uh, when you select your mode you select your mode first as you can see there jet normal or soft and when you turn it on it does it in that thing when you turn it back on again it comes back on at the same setting you left it at last time i'm not sure it may be just me i can't definitely say this because i haven't got the other one here side by side to test but to me the soft on this does seem a bit softer than the other one if you look back at that other video i'd never used a flosser of any sort before normal dental floss or a, a water jet flosser and i started on soft and even that you could really feel it you know and it hurting like fresh gums that weren't used to it and getting a fair amount of bleeding this does seem a bit softer but i may be wrong there it may be just psychological and uh, i'm just imagining it but the normal and the jet feel about the same as the other ones so yeah basically it's not just cosmetically changed it's got that extra battery that extra waterproofness tiny difference there and seven quid cheaper 12.99 so if you've got any in store if you see any in store this uh, this week i'd grab them now like i say i'm willing to give it another try i, I quite like little stuff it's served me great their parkside tools and everything have been fantastically reliable uh, i've had a never dent toothbrush in the past that was okay and uh yeah i'm willing to give it another go if this breaks down within three or four months forget it i'm not going to get there and make again I'll, I'll get water pick or, or something more more expensive but um yeah hopefully it won't do that i'll just show you if you're interested on the the spec there 1200 milliamp battery ipx7 and it's the d8 version of it so uh, yeah that's all this video was for just to warn you that there is a chance they may fail but i feel confident having that extra waterproofness that they have improved it who knows they may have just had a a faulty batch of circuit boards or something like that i don't know but uh, like i say it was only three months before it went wrong so hopefully this will last me longer i will put keep monitoring it if there is any change if this breaks down within the year or whatever i will add it to description below so hopefully it won't so i hope it has been of some use and it was worth doing this little i'll say short for me probably about 15 minutes or something like that video uh just to alert you there is a chance they might go wrong but the new one has got improvements and like i say a fantastic price so thanks for reaching the end of this if you haven't if you, if you liked it and it was any use give us a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed it'd be great if you could join the club click the little picture of the shed here on the left and then once you've done that click the bell icon below and you'll be alerted to any new uploads i keep on coming as often as i can i'm always buying gadgets of some sort so i hope to catch you for one of them thanks for watching this one bye for now